watching Carlisle's Picks here in Las Vegas. Don't forget to subscribe. Look what we have here, Icon Motorsports. This is Icon Drift 3, the Drift, <laughs> Drift Apocalypse, Daytona 675R, Turbo. Look at that. Insanity. Look in there. See what's all going on in there? It's no joke, guys. 675 Turbo. Let's back up. You guys can see it. Look at the tires. Look at those tires, man. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Insanity. The tires all ripped up. Wow. Let's get on this guy. Oh, this is a high bike. Yeah. It's definitely very tall. I'd say it's about as tall as a GSX R1000. Interesting. Wow, this is actually really that wide out, huh? Wow. Interesting. Woo. Still, wow, it's very light. That's insane. Oh, now I see why the tires are all ripped up. Someone's been doing some really cool videos. You got the uh, camera mount in there. Woo. Look at that seat. HT Moto. Another mount. Someone's got some really cool videos somewhere. Gaffing, gaffer's tape. Got a rear sets on there. There's that oil in suspension. Wow. Let's see what kind of information they got on this card here. Stock 675 inline triple engine. Uh, it's got a GP2052 turbocharger with air to water intercooler turbo kit built by Fuel Fords in Las Vegas, Nevada. Dino Jet Power Commander 5 with auto tune and LCD screen. It's got a stock six speed with a Triumph quick shifter. Stock adjustable Olin NIX 30 forks and TTX 36 forks. Swing armors Merrill West cycles zero to six inches over stock. Tires are Avon VP2 Extreme and in the rear Avon Storm 3D Ultras. Horsepower is 204 at 10 PSI. Wow. Insane. You know, I started out with 15,000 miles a year. That's how much miles I was putting on. And I spent a lot of time practicing, you know, on the side, you know, emergency braking maneuvers.